Hi, right, welcome to a quick video. I'm gonna show you how best to prepare your chain for squirt lube. Um, so number one, get a chain. I like Shimano ones, they seem to test fast, according to the old man, on a, on a zero frictions or whatever it's called. Um, then number one, white spirit, also known as mineral terps in certain countries. Number two, methylated spirits, known as methylated spirits. And number three, a trusty jar. I've got a tomato sauce jar here, but any jar will do doesn't really matter but we'll get into how to prepare your chain um, and maybe afterwards I'll go on why it's quite good to use squirt but first things first let's get the chain sorted all right so we've got the chain now so first of all get my little pot put it in try and push it down as much as possible just so that you need less of it then get your methylated spirits as you can see here Little, little child lock on it so a bit hard to get open but just whack it in I normally go I normally try and cover it um, to be honest um, but that should do um, so we can shake it around now it has quite a big smell so wouldn't recommend doing it in something that's not tight because your whole room is going to smell of methylated spirits but we'll um, tighten it up give it a good old shake as you can see, it's already pretty dirty. So we're gonna give it a good shake. It can be good to ride the chain for a couple K first to oxidize the um, packing grease. That's what people say, but I find it actually does work all right. Let's just do it straight out. So now I've got my methylated spirits in here. I'm gonna leave it for about 12 hours um, and then we'll come back to it and uh, basically do this another two times, but we don't have to leave it for 12 hours. Then rinse it with methylated spirits um, and then we'll, we're all good to go and we can put the water squirt lube on it. Um, and it's all it's all good so yeah basically get the white spirit and do that like three times you only need to leave it the first one 12 hours then probably like five or six each um if that like basically as soon as it starts to get a bit like dirty give it a bit of shake leave it for like another 20 minutes and then you can get rid of it and do it again basically by the end you just want there to be no residue after it's left so it shouldn't go dark it should just look the same as it does when you put it in and then you know that there's no more uh like grease or anything to get rid of all right, so now this has had its third rinse in the old white spirit. It's all good, it's all dry. So whack it back in this old, the old trusty jar. Make sure it's nice and shaken down. Obviously clean the old jar before. Now we've got the old methylated spirits. Um, it is purple. The reason they have it purple, stop people drinking it because it's pretty much pure alcohol. But you don't need too much, so don't need to fill the whole thing up. And um, the point of this is just to get rid of any last little solvents. Um, they all have slightly different uh, like molecular weights and stuff, so they're gonna dissolve different things. So that's what we need to do. So now I'm just gonna shake it for two minutes and then uh, basically get rid of it, clean the chain again, and then shake it for another two minutes. And then we're good to start waxing. All right, so it's round two with the old chain now. Make sure it's pretty dry. You wanna try and basically get everything off. It doesn't, um, you won't really see much in the actual liquid, but instead it's gonna actually just be on the chain. So you need to make sure on this one that you actually do a good job of getting all, all of the solvent off. Um, and then it should all be good to go for round two. Again, don't need a crazy amount um, because we're shaking it, so it should get all around. But, and then again, shake it for two minutes or so. Um, and then we'll need to do a bit of hair drying. All right, so I missed out the hair drying part, but basically just get the chin, hair dry it for a good couple minutes, maybe like two, five, two to five minutes. Basically, all you want is that when you feel the chain, it feels metallic, no solvents, nothing on it, just 100% metallic. And after that, uh, get down and start waxing it. You need a hair, I recommend having the old hair, the coat hanger. All right, so normally I'd do this in my house, but because I'm actually at home, uh, I don't think my mum would be very happy if I was waxing the old chain at, at, in the house. So I'm in my little bike place but anyway so basically hang your chain up on a coat hanger is what i recommend try and get it about half and half um and then this is a key point now there's many i'm going to talk about this probably in the, later because it's quite like that but get your wax lube so this i've got the squirt is what my i love it's basically like waxing but not as much but anyway so you just squirt it on the top and what should happen hopefully we can see here see the way it like it goes it like falls down the, the chain Ah, there we go. 
Okay, so now you can see. So you put it on the top, and then what you'll see is it like goes down each individual link, and the point is that and the wax gets into each individual loop link and makes it absolutely rapid. So what I would recommend, this process does take a long time, but I have messed it up in terms of timing because I'm gonna leave it overnight. But if you can do it during the day, it will only take maybe four hours. So you just do the first coat and then I normally do a second coat because if you have too much, it just comes off. So it's not too much of an issue. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll put quite a lot on it to be honest, um, because I'd rather have too much than too little to be, uh, and then basically just let it all the way drip down. And because this is quite late at night, I'm probably gonna do another one tomorrow and then ride the chain tomorrow. Um, I'm sort of doing it last minute because my chain at the moment is disgusting and realize I actually need a new one. But if you want to get it quicker to go down, you can just squat it on either side. Um, but to be honest, once it's all on, it's all good. So anyway, that's the first part. Um, and then we'll, we'll come back tomorrow and you'll see what it looks like. You've done all this. The key thing is don't degrease it ever because if you degrease it, you get rid of all the wax. So all you need to do is basically get a rag, go on here, and uh, just rub it off. And hopefully the whole point of doing all this and the effort of it is that it sh all the dirt should just come straight off with a rag. Um, and then if, if it does get really contaminated, my best bet is to get boiling water and that takes all the wax off. So like get, take off your chain, put it in boiling water. That will take all the wax off, then put no new wax on and you're good to go again. And those are my top tips for keeping a clean chain. Now you might say, Charlie, your bikes are filth, but that was because I didn't do it with the last chain. But when you do it properly, man, it's actually really good.